Joining us from London, Tun Kin, who is the president of the Burmese Rohingya organization in the United Kingdom. We thank you for your time. Uh, why do you thank think you. the government is doing it? I only ask because it's sort of, it's such an obvious thing. It seems to be such a blatant move by the government to exclude the Rohingya Muslims. Well, this is the government extermination policy they are implementing for a long time. So you can see the president, a spokesperson yesterday mentioned that they will not register uh, Rohingya, you know, in the ethnicity code. Mm. And this is driving out the Rohingya to tag them, you know, Bengali, which is the code 910 they want to put. What I would like to highlight here is for the Rohingya, this is a big danger moving forward in our kind of state. The whole minority, they want to tag them as an illegal Bengali and they want to drive out. So you can see the policy behind is very, very, mm. uh, you know, danger for the whole minority Rohingya of our kind of state. As far as any um, comment or, or, you know, attempts at interference from the international community, why are they, or is it that they're, that they're sort of happy with the fact that Myanmar has made some progress and continues to open up, so they're letting this kind of thing go just as part of the whole coming back into the, into the international community process? Well, this is a racism and, you know, uh, anti-Rohingya campaign, so, you know, this has been long-term systematic policy mm. to eliminate the whole Rohingya minority from our country. So, um, you can see the President Thing Singh mentioned in 2012, July, UNHCR High Commissioner, Rohingyas are not citizens of Obama, they are illegal immigrants. The uh, only solution is keeping them in a camps and sending them to the third countries. So this is the proper policy, elimination policy, to drive off the whole minority. The other side, they want to show international community that some uh, reforms are going on. So the important point here is international community have to see the whole bummer where mm this country moving forward or backwards whether all the Rohingya all the ethnic people particularly the Rohingya minority what the situation do they are facing today do you think there there's anyone no safety and security do you think there's any Sorry? country which could actually put pressure on the, the Myanmar government to change its mind and to alter the census well this is important particularly US UK EU countries they are supporting you know they are donors of this census how come this kind of countries, you know, they can support, uh, in, uh, to, uh, they can support to Burmese government to uh, funding, you know, uh, this kind of census where discriminating the Rohingya minority to eliminating them from the census list and putting them a, a Bengali. So they have to consider. They actually this census should postpone or you know suspend because international community have to see the seriousness of the situation uh, trends in our kind of state. Tun Kin from the Burmese Rohingya organization in the UK, we thank you for your time, sir.